Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is August 16th. In this episode, we are going to talk about Ehang and its UAM in Hong Kong. Recently, people also mentioned the possibility of partnership between Ehang and Seaplane Hong Kong, a Hong Kong-based startup that plans to provide UAM services in Hong Kong and the Greater Bay Area. We may also discuss a bit about Seaplane Hong Kong from the Ehang's viewpoint as well as from the startups. As you may know, Ehang will initially focus on the Guangzhou Hong Kong Macau Great Bay Area for its UAM services. Hong Kong is one of the important cities in the Great Bay Area. First, let's check the regulation for Ehang in Hong Kong. Ehang is expected to obtain CAAC type certification for EH216 very soon. Fortunately, the CAAC airworthiness certification is also applicable to Hong Kong as well as Macau. This is specified by the following Memorandum of Understanding. Here is the document. The document title is Memorandum of Understanding on Close Cooperation in Airworthiness Certification by Civil Aviation Administration of China The Civil Aviation Department of the Government of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region and Civil Aviation Administration of Macau Special Administrative Region Next, let's check the scope of cooperation. The scope of cooperation of this memorandum includes the following areas of airworthiness certification. 1. Mutual recognition of aviation products and parts design approval, production approval and airworthiness approval. 2. Other relevant regulations and standards for airworthiness certification. 3. Participation and support in airworthiness certification activities of aviation products and parts. 4. Participation and support in other inspection activities of aviation products and parts standards. 5. Participate in the communication and cooperation of international conferences on airworthiness certification. 6. Training and technical exchange of airworthiness certification personnel. 7. Other cooperation in the field of airworthiness certification. This memorandum of understanding shall be effective from the date of signing. The signing date is May 23, 2018. On April 16, at the fourth quarter 2020 financial report conference of Ehang, Hu Huaji, founder and CEO of Ehang, stated that Ehang will switch to playing the role of UAM service provider instead of as an aircraft maker. As such, in the domestic area including Hong Kong and Macau, if possible, Ehang will not accept exclusive partnership with a particular company for providing the UAM services in a big city. For examples, in city of Guangzhou, Ehang has the following multiple partners for providing the UAM services. LN Holdings, which runs Garden Hotel in Guangzhou and other hotels in different cities. Heli Chuangxing Real Estate, which runs Tienda Plaza in Guangzhou. Guangzhou Development District Transportation Investment Group, which operates light rail in Guangzhou. The same multiple UAM partners will also apply to Hong Kong. Ehang's decision to switch to UAM provider may have caught Seaplane Hong Kong off guard. This essentially makes Ehang become the competitor of Seaplane Hong Kong. Initially, Seaplane Hong Kong may consider purchasing Ehang EVTOL aircraft for their UAM services. Now they may be kind of reluctant. But eventually, they may have no choice and need to partner with Ehang. With autopilot and fault tolerant redundancy design, as well as the first mover advantage. Ehang's current EH216 and later VT30 are expected to dominate the Hong Kong and the Greater Bay market with the most cost efficient and safest services in the world. For Ehang, Seaplane Hong Kong may be just one of the many potential partners in the area. Ehang will have no problems to find multiple partners in Hong Kong. For example, Ehang launches aerial tourism services with strategic partner Greenland Hong Kong. On December 28, 2020, Ehang announced the launch of its own autonomous urban air mobility, UAM, services with its strategic partner Greenland Hong Kong Holdings Limited, Greenland Hong Kong, an HKEX listed real estate company. The trial services include an aerial sightseeing program and aerial media shows, which will be rolled out in the partner's tourism real estate project, Forest Lake located in Zhaoqing, a popular tour destination city in Guangdong, China. 
The company intends to work jointly with Greenland Hong Kong over time to offer aerial tourism services using its EH-216 AAVs in more cities. Here, it may not be a surprise if the more cities also include Hong Kong. Next, we will review some activities related to Ehang in Hong Kong. These activities indicate that Ehang has good relationship and connections with Hong Kong government and local companies, and will have no problems to find multiple UAM partners in Hong Kong. Next, the first reviewed activity. Ehang Aerial Media Company, Ehang Egret was chosen as the drone show provider. For the first time drone show in Hong Kong on July 2, 2108. To celebrate Hong Kong's 21st anniversary of the return of Hong Kong to China. Next. On April 22, 2018. Hong Kong Legislative Council's Greater Bay Area delegation of 32 members visited Ehang headquarters in Guangzhou and inspected Ehang's passenger AAV. Next. In December 2018, leaders of Hong Kong Federation of Industry and Commerce were invited by Ehang to visit the flight base of Guangzhou Ehang Intelligent Headquarters and take flight with Ehang 216 self-driving aircraft as well as experience other intelligent logistics and distribution services. During the visit, the leaders and the person in charge of Ehang conducted an in-depth discussion on the hot topics of the future smart city air traffic. On August 7, 2018, it was reported that Recently, the Financial Secretary of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Government, Chen Maobua, visited the flight base of Ehang Intelligent Headquarters for inspection work, accompanied by Zhou Yumei, Deputy Secretary General of the Guangzhou Municipal Government and Zheng Qingchun, Deputy Director of the Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office. On the one hand, this itinerary is to understand the role and positioning of each city in the construction of the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area, and on the other hand to visit representative local technological innovation enterprises to discuss future development. The following is a report from Ehang. When first arriving at Ehang, the Financial Secretary of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Government, Chen Maobua, expressed his amazement at the company's diversified technology applications. Ehang co-founder Xiong Yifang and Ehang Egret Media Technology Chairman Shi Yuan accompanied and explained the whole process. Xiong Yifang took Chen Maobua and other leaders to visit and experience the Ehang UAV Smart Dispatching Center. He introduced the functions of the dispatching center. After guidance, Chen Maobua also personally learned how to remotely control UAVs in outdoor operations. To complete the front, back, left, and right, raising and lowering flight movements, things that were difficult in the past, but after this time, he realized that it could be that simple. During the period, before experiencing remote control of the drone, Chen Maobua had ordered a few cups of coffee through the mobile app, which was a drone delivery order. Just after he finished the experience unknowingly, he walked out the door and found that the coffee ordered 10 minutes ago actually fell from the sky. There was no sweaty delivery boy, only one food delivery drone landed slowly, and the coffee was delivered to Chen Maobua and other leaders' hands. They could not help but sighed, technology has changed lives, and drone logistics has greatly improved efficiency. The last part of the original itinerary was to watch the normalized flight demonstration of Ehang AAV. However, Hong Kong Financial Secretary Chen Maobua heard that many politicians had already been in the seat to experience it before, and he suddenly changed his mind and took the initiative. He required to take a flight and experience the charm of this fully autonomous flying vehicle in person. So the original watch was temporarily changed to test ride, and this time it was the two-seater version of the Ehang AAV. Financial Secretary Chen Maobua and Guangzhou City Government Deputy Secretary General Zhou Yumei took the ride together. When the Ehang AAV landed steadily, Director Chen Maobua said that it was really too stable and wanted to fly longer. However, due to the tight schedule, time for this test flight was also limited. On this day, another heavyweight was added to the passenger list of Ehang's AAV test flight. Since the beginning of this year, more and more people have shown their support for Ehang's philosophy through in-person and practical actions. In the near future, more precious video clips and the progress of Ehang AAV will be released to the public, so that the reality everyone is looking forward to feels closer and closer. 
He Hang stated that 2018 is the first year of the construction of the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area. As one of the four major bay areas in the world, the construction of the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area is on par with the New York Bay Area, the San Francisco Bay Area, and the Tokyo Bay Area in Japan. At present, it has been upgraded to the level of national development strategy. The development of scientific and technological innovation enterprises in the region is accelerating, and Ihang is also fully prepared to meet this golden opportunity of a lifetime, to further develop the blueprint for development, to build a digital sky with the strength of intelligent manufacturing in China, and to achieve the strategic layout. As you may see, Ihang's goal is grand. But, as you may also see, they have the strengths, the advantages, and the supports to achieve it. Thanks for watching. This channel gives you update and info on Chinese stocks, technologies and culture. Please subscribe.